Hi. The most common question I get from my clients who just moved, migrated from other software to Clavio or just started Clavio from scratch, what's the difference between segments and lists in Clavio? And honestly, sometimes <laughs> I have a hard time explaining that. But basically, like in general overview, segments is something very dynamic. List is static. You can add people to your list, but you cannot add people to your segment you can add specific property to your subscriber and they can uh, join the segment based on that specific criteria because list uh, segment is always dynamic list it's, it's static so right now i'll show you show you the example so r right here we are in the clavio we go to list and segments this is one of like uh free accounts i have so let's say if we want to create lists or segments, we click on create list and segment, and we have a list and segment. Paste from spreadsheet, upload a file, or choose from people already in Clavio. Uh, example, list. As you can see from scratch, this list is uh, empty because nobody is here. So you have to manually either upload people to here or integrate something with this list let's say just uno video any other software through zapier and this will this list will be populated and when i mean integrate it means like uh like you manually adding context to this list but integration helps you automate this process so um integration it's it's automatic but like to simplify it, it's like you have employee or team member who does it manually like they export one for a list from one software and import to this list to clavio list so it's um so just think about um uh less as a bucket you can only add or remove people from bucket Okay, so what is the segment? <laughs> the segment is, let's do create list and segment and do a dynamic segment of people based on their behavior or properties. Okay, so now we test segment. Basically, we cannot create empty segment. We need to specify who do we want to include in this segment. So. If you imagine list being a bucket, and let's say you have bucket of like bucket of apples and red apples, green apples, and I don't know, like white apples, purple apples, like different co colors. Segment is you wearing glasses with filters. So let's say if you like uh, wear glasses with one, one kind of filter to see only red color, you will see in the bucket only red glasses. If you wear glasses with, with filters to see only green color, you will see uh, green apples in the bucket. So segment, uh, the um, segment is, It's a dy dynamic, dynamic list. It's not a list, <laughs> dynamic side, like that, which uh, creates group of people based on specific properties. So what kind of properties? There's unlimited, honestly, there are almost unlimited possibilities with segments, but you can create a segment of people who purchased something, purchased A item, but did not purchase B item or purchased eight item uh, three times over the last 30 days and something like that. You can create a segment of people who are who, who, who unsubscribed. Let's, this one, as you can see, people who are not, is not, is not suppressed, or you can create is, People is suppressed. Uh, you can create properties, first name, um, contains a letter, for example. Need to delete this option. Uh, con uh, first name contains, let's put my name, Andrew. 
you can see there's only one person who contains the first name uh, Andre. I cannot manually add to this segment. I cannot uh, integrate anything to the segment. I cannot upload to the segment because segment is it's all people that I have in Clavio, and I create segment uh, specifying specific characters per subscriber and I can group them together. So segment, just imagine grouping people based on specific criteria or specific behavior or actions they did. Uh, list is something static. Doesn't matter what I purchased, uh, it's up to you. You have to think about it and you'll, okay, I'll, I have like 20,000 of subscribers, I want to add them to this list, or I have three subscribers I want to add to the, to, to the list. You can manually uh, add like one contact, um, or remove, sorry, remove. Yeah. So this is like, I hope I, <laughs> I hope I answered the question. What's the difference between a list and segment? If not, please ask me more specific question to clarify uh, what, what's the difference between list and segment. It, it's very easy to understand when you start using it. But when you like hear about this, like first, first time it's hard to digest. And also, Another like another company, Mailchimp, uh, did um, did I'm not saying bad job, but they misrepresent lists and segment because uh, in Mailchimp you can have segments under specific lists. You cannot have like global segment, but other companies like. Um, Active, like active campaign, Clavier, Convert Kit. It doesn't matter where people, uh, what where a person lives, on which list they have like global segments. Okay, the last part probably I confused you <laughs> even more. So, listen, if you have additional questions about the difference between list and segments or what you can do with them, please uh, leave those questions below so I can answer them. Thank you. <laughs>